Hello students and welcome to a brand new video of Shorosa's classes. Here in this video, I'll be solving the 2017 Actuarial Science Common Entrance Test Paper, which occurred in April 2017. And uh, some basic rules here. As in this examination, calculators will be allowed. So some of the questions which involves in trigonometry angles, like the first one, or some of the questions which is relatively bit larger in calculations so that will be left on calculator usage although I have made a special video on calculator shortcut tricks which will be helpful for you and I will be trying to solve as much as question possible and the tricks especially the tricks of solving these questions will be very useful and if you need further help and queries you can obviously just type for source class on Google or get back to me or just uh, follow the description or call or whatsapp we are always there to help you okay let's start so first question is cos 135 this is a old school process of cos 90 plus 3045 and then cos a cos b minus sin a sin b but here we can do it just put in the calculator it will be minus 1 by root 2 simply one more question so option c is correct now proceeding to next question now the value of x that satisfy the inequality lies in this set so here i have a very special trick of doing it so x square minus 3x minus 18 so it is very much solvable that is x minus 6 into x plus 3 okay so just put it equal to greater than 0 so what are the three if you just equate with 0 the values of x will be either 3 minus 3 or 6 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split it so first I write x less than minus 3, then minus 3x less 6, and then x greater than 6. For example, if you get 1, 2, and 6 as an answer, so you first write x less than 1, then 1 less than x less than 2, then 2 less than x less than 6, and then greater than 6. So in that way, you split it. So take, a, take any value in your mind, like minus 3, so take it minus 4 and put it into this equation. So we just put it minus 4 minus 6 this one is less than 0 minus 10 and minus 4 plus 3 is again less than 0 2 negative make it a positive so this one is a valid region minus 3 to minus 6 is a very basic value take it 0 0 minus 6 is positive plus 0 plus 3 is negative so negative positive gives you negative so this is not a valid reason okay next region is x greater than 6 let it be 50 Take a large value, 50 minus 6, positive, 50 plus 3, obviously positive. So we got two good areas. So x is either less than minus 3 or greater than 6. So 60 infinity is positive. So these two are our good chances. But is it equal to? I see, there is no equal to sign. So we can't take it those portion where there's equal to. This portion, this is this one is open interval. And this one means a closed interval. So we can't take it even. So this is wrong. Something which doesn't have 6, we can take it. We can take it. So basically, very easily, we can say the answer is P. Now, I'm going to the next question. If this is the modular sign and this is also modulus, modulus of A plus B is a vector and modulus of A minus B, then which of these is correct? So if this thing is happening, what we do is just square it both sides. Okay. So this will give you A square, B square, 2AB. You know, from the basic formula. And this, this minus 2AB. So simply, these two are gone so we can write this equal to zero so if the dot product of two vectors are zero so they are perpendicular to each other so we can say very easily a is perpendicular to b so not parallel not equal and not unit vectors so very easy then we are proceeding to next question remember that there will be many questions over here to be fast and really energetic and start it from the flow has to go okay now here's a quadratic x square plus bx plus c and has equal roots so this has a equal root so there is a discriminant and that is b square minus 4ac and that is equal to 0 in this case so simply b square minus 4ac is 0 so we can write simply c equal to b square divided by 
4 a so b square by 4 a so option b is correct so till now easy going let's go for the next set of questions question number five so a uh, partial fractions expression of this now they haven't asked you to do anything it's simply a partial fraction so first you need to count the terms count the terms how many terms you can see I send C three terms x minus 2 is twice so three terms so I'm just going to write a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2 plus c by x minus 2 square it's like this if something is square you write the first term so here this implies 1 equal to a into x minus 2 whole square plus b into x minus 1 into x minus 2 and c equal to simply just go for the adding then then putting uh, x equal to 2 we get c equal to 1 putting x equal to 1 we get a equal to 1 and equating the coefficients we can easily your coefficients equating x square coefficients you can get that a plus b equal to 0 where so simply b equal to minus 1 hence by easily so a with 1 so the first one is 1 by x minus 1 let me check let me check so 4 are correct then next one is minus 1 by x minus 2 so minus 1 by x minus 2 is this so obviously this is our correct option we want to go for d that's it now please allow me to change the color of my pen that's getting boring okay use red some vibrant color question number six so they have a limit and limit has a power here so what we are going to do is we just split it limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power n into 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power 6 that's it so now this we know is e but this one 1 plus 1 by infinity whole to the power 6 so e into something by infinity is 0 so that is only 1 so the sample answer is e so here d is our answer now we have a very simple derivative y equal to this but there's a u by v formula we are going to apply so dy dx u by v so denominator square so that is e to the power 2x and denominator derivative of the numerator so that will give you 2x by x square minus numerator and derivative of the denominator is a to the power x only so all you have to do is just put the values this will give you 2 to the power minus x 1 by x minus log x so here this seems to be similar and there's a minus so our option goes for b okay so so easy if you know the trick so y equal to tan inverse x dy dx so tan inverse x formula is 1 by 1 by 1 plus x square so do it in your 11 12 days you have done it in your 11 days just do it so dy dx so this one will be very easy try to do this derivative once and for all so tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square that is log x whole square and then tan inverse x itself then log x within this derivative is 1 by x we just multiply this 1 by x if you are not good with the derivative see my derivative video it will be very helpful for you without that it will be tough to do it so 8c is the correct answer now i am proceeding to next uh, please let me allow choose a color okay let me go with a different kind of color which i don't generally use this one let me check fx is this it's an increasing over which interval now if we want to check whether function is increasing or not remember that we need to find for increasing or decreasing function all we have to do is to check the first order derivative now this color is not going much well okay so we simply calculate f dash x so here f dash x minus 1 minus 2x that's it now which gives negative this will be less than 0 if x less than minus half hence fx is less than minus half so minus half has to be there so all have minus half but the thing is that 
this particular interval will be applicable till minus half to minus infinity simple so plus half whenever you see plus half is gone there is minus infinity so plus infinity ones are gone so the only one intact is this if you are in doubt go for the wrong ones just calculate the wrong ones and you are always go with the best of the shot now an integration x so it's a uv formula so or else you can do it just integration of d of sine x so this is x sine x integration of sine x dx in case you forget the formula please see it from your book okay x sine x integration of sine x is plus minus sine x is plus uh, and this so option is a now proceeding to next question what is the value of this integration so zero to infinity whenever this infinity is there you have to be very cautious okay now uh, zero to this let this particular term this x by 2 is creating a problem so let x by 2 equal to y i'm separating this from this so x by 2 equal to y so i'm going to put it so 0 to infinity 2y whole to the power 7 e to the power minus y and dx will also be changed in that way dx equal to 2y dy that's it so here we put 2 dy that's it so this y is inside so simply to this is a 2 this is a 2 so 2 to the power 8 will be outside 0 to infinity e to the power minus y y to the power 8 minus 1 dy that's it so we can write it as 2 to the power 8 and this is 0 to infinity e to the power minus y y to the power 7 dy now this one has a formula this particular part and that is nothing but 7 factorial this depends on this power okay so this can be rewritten as 2 to the power 8 into 7 factorial so where find 2 to the power 8 into 7 factorial this is 11a so this is very crucial note it down in your copies if you don't have it pause the video and copy it okay now we are proceeding to our next one so that is 12 number question the value of the integral minus 1 to plus 1 and sine x cos to the power 4x dx is okay now how to do it let me just clear some area here okay you can obviously rewind you can go back okay just say doing the old school way now this 12 number question says this value of the integral you can simply put it to the function uh, in an advanced calculator or in case of in this kind of cases if x is this you have to try to need to find the value of f of minus x so that is a sine of minus x so minus sine x cos to the power 4x that is equal to minus of fx so this particular function is an odd function so now integral of an odd function we can directly say is integral value of an odd function is nil zero so this is our correct answer now uh, this video is already 14 minute so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go the rest in the next video okay that will be a set solutions part two you can just see it and do subscribe it if you want to get the other videos as well okay want to see us an actuary soon thanks a lot for watching